Hi, my name is Tom O'Toole, and I work for FLIR Systems, who manufactures infrared cameras. And today I'm with Fleming Lund of Infrared Diagnostics. And Fleming is a HERS rater, as well as a BPI certified energy auditor, yep. and a certified home inspector, correct? That's right. Well, today Fleming's going to take us around this home that has some energy efficiency issues and show us the latest tools and technologies that he uses to locate air leaks and missing insulation. Now, what kind of technology is he going to show us today? Well, we're going to do a professional energy audit and uh, we put a number of different tools into use uh, to do that. Um, the infrared camera, mm -hmm. your blower door for leaks and air infiltration. Moisture meters comes into it too. If we are looking at a spot and we think that it may be moisture instead of insulation issue, we confirm that with a moisture meter. We use a bore scope in areas where we maybe need to get in and do a further analysis. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we usually finish it off with a safety test using uh, gas leak detection on the heating uh, appliances mm -hmm. as well as uh, carbon monoxide uh, safety test. So this is more than just a standard visual oh, inspection. Yeah. Yeah. This is actually a very in-depth energy audit. And our goal is to, to get all the information put together in a report that the customer can really sit down and figure out which steps should I take to uh, fix the problem. To fix the problem and really to get forward and uh, get it done right. Great. Well, let's take a look around. So we're going to set up the, the blower door and we usually try to find a central exterior door to the building so that we're going to draw evenly from the building. A blower door is essentially made up of a couple things, right? You've got the fan. Yeah, we've got a, a huge fan that will move about 6,000 cubic feet of air per minute. Mm -hmm. And then right here we have a frame that's adjustable so we can fit it into most uh, front doors. And then we have a shroud, a canvas that goes over to create the seal and the the main part of it is the uh, uh, manometer mm -hmm. to show us the pressure difference in the building and then we're going to hook up a computer to it that's going to help us capture the data and do some graphs and some calculations on it. Okay so you can take things like the infrared pictures and the visual pictures as well as the information from the computer and actually put in a report for the customer. Yep okay. exactly. Okay. And, and one of the nice features with this is that a lot of customers will ask me to come back after they've done all the repairs. And now we had maybe uh, 2,500 CFM of air leakage in the building. I come back half a year later and they've dropped it down to 1,500. And What's can, CFM? Uh, cubic feet of air per minute, sorry. Okay. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, the, uh, that's what the uh, blower door is going to measure for us. And by having that data uh, uh, pre-insulation, pre-air sealing, and then mm -hmm. post we can really confirm that the improvements are, have taken place. And then if the insulation contractor missed a little spot or whatever, we can uh, locate that and uh, things and can be... Yeah. yeah. We just calibrated the fan to uh, compensate for the uh, pressure difference between inside and outside. And then the blower door here has a couple of different rings on it um, to make it fit all the different kind of house styles that we're going to see. How mm -hmm. leaky are the house? How big of the opening do we want in the fan? Mm -hmm. So right now here, I'm just going to guess that we need the full opening. Okay. So that's how we'll start it out. And the program is ready. And this particular computer program is just going to take over running the blower door. It's going to do uh, 100 readings at 50 Pascal. That's the building pressure that we are uh, calibrated to. And then it's going to do 100 readings at um, 45 Pascal, 40 Pascal, and so on, the whole way down to uh, 10 Pascal. Okay. And what it's reading is the cubic feet of air leakage in the building. So it's, it's measuring how big are the holes in the house, how much air can I pull at that given mm -hmm. pressure level. Mm -hmm. And of course, that's, that's everything about air sealing and energy conservation. Mm -hmm. If we have big holes in the house, so we can pull more air we're wasting more energy. Okay. So let's start it up and it'll slowly crank itself up there. Okay. So while we uh, guess get the home depressurized, yeah, is that the right exactly, target? Exactly, yeah. Um, why don't we take a couple minutes, uh, you could show me some of the other uh, tested measurement tools you use to troubleshoot sure. different areas of the home. One is the uh, bore scope and that's usually sort of the second phase of my uh, energy audit. If I have wall cavities, areas that I'm not totally um, con uh, familiar with from the infrared image, 
I can verify or further diagnose it with the uh, bore scope. Okay, so you actually use this to physically look inside the wall? Yeah. Okay. So we may have um, a wall that we are saying, you know, it, it looks like there's some issue, but I can't really see exactly sure. what it is. Or if we are looking between the floors, I often use it for that is the band joist that's going around the whole exterior of the house, is that insulated? Mm -hmm. And if I can find a way of getting in there with a bore scope and make maybe a small hole like this, um, and then I can totally confirm what they need to do to improve the house. FLIR Systems is introducing today a brand new feature called MeterLink, which actually allows the infrared camera and the XTEC moisture meter to talk to each other. So essentially, Fleming, what we've got here is we have a moisture meter and our B60 infrared camera. And whatever reading we get on the XTEC moisture meter will actually show up live on yep. the infrared camera yep. screen. In addition to that, whenever you save an image with the infrared camera, uh, you'll also get the moisture reading. And that information will show up in the report that you provide the customer, correct? Exactly, yeah. So, th so this is a, a great improvement because in the past, we didn't have that link between them. And you would have to make a special effort to try to make sure that you got the moisture numbers written down. Mm -hmm. This uh, comes right on the image. It's there it essentially built, automates the process. Yeah, we built a report with that image. It's right there. It'll never be forgotten. So Yeah, and, and these two technologies are very, very complementary in the fact that you can actually physically locate uh, the moisture problem with the yep. infrared camera, and I can use the moisture meter to verify that it is, in fact, moisture. So I can pinpoint right here with my little laser dot, and that's where I see the sort of the concentration of it. Yep. And sure enough, there you go. We're there. Yeah. Okay, so we've had the blower door running for about 20 minutes now, and you can definitely feel the yeah. difference in air temperature in here. It's a lot colder. Uh, so Fleming, what are typically the uh, steps that you take to document uh, what you're looking for? So now with the infrared camera, we have the option of uh, taking the image. And in the past, we would normally have brought out our smoke stick and maybe verify some of that draft. However, with the uh, infrared camera, we can take the infrared image, we can take the digital image of mm -hmm. the problem, and we can do a voice recording. The voice recording gets used when we get back to the office to build the report for the customer so that we get exactly the detailed information in there. Instead of having your notepad and then those notations, which picture do they belong to, mm -hmm. now everything is together in one package. Wow, so you can work a lot faster and yeah. more efficiently. Yeah, and, and um, no errors, no mistakes. Uh, everything is uh, very to the point and very precise on the information that the customer needs. Okay, well I, th I know that we uh, found some air infiltration in one of these canned lights here, so mm -hmm. I know you want to take a minute to uh, document your images um, as well as uh, any type of uh, notation. Yeah, so right here we have a uh, recessed light, um, definitely air infiltration, and uh, recommend um, putting an insulation box on top of it, possibly uh, replacing the uh, light bulb with a CFL light bulb to produce less heat output and not having concern about overheating this particular fixture. Um, and uh, that's usually the, the recommended, if you can get to the backside of it, with a, a insulation box. Otherwise, uh, replacing uh, recessed light fixtures with um, surface mounted mm -hmm. fixtures is, is a good option too, but it's a little more involved and not everybody wants to go that way. All right, Tom, well, this concludes the uh, energy audit. Uh, we are ready to shut off the fan so that we can get some heat back on in the house. And it looks like you have one more uh, piece of equipment there. Yeah, uh, the last thing I do before I leave the house, it's, it's just a good opportunity. I'm in the house and we can do a little bit of safety analysis on the uh, fuel burning appliances. So we do a gas sniffing with this instrument here right on the gas pipes mm -hmm. that feeds the hot water heater, stove, um, uh, furnace heating system. Mm -hmm. And then we do a carbon monoxide uh, gas leak check too to make sure that those fuel burning appliances are not producing a high level of carbon monoxide. Great. Well, as, as I understand it, you take um, all the information and, of course, create a report for the homeowner. I was looking through your report here, and you've got a lot of information here. You've got your infrared pictures. Yep. You've got your visual pictures that you were able to save with your FLIR infrared camera. In addition to that, you've got the moisture reading from yep. your moisture meter. 
the pictures and the images and the video that you save with your borescope, there's a lot of information in here for the homeowner. Definitely, yeah. And that's the ultimate goal, to give them a, a very detailed report that they can uh, work with themselves mm -hmm. or they can hand it to a contractor and say, these are the issues that came up from the professional energy audit mm -hmm. and this is where we need to focus our work.